Google Voice is a service that gives you a free phone number, and Google Hangouts is an application that lets you use your number to send text messages and make phone calls. Together, Google Voice and Hangouts allow you to keep one phone number as you switch from carrier to carrier and phone to phone, and it increases your coverage area by allowing you to use Wi-Fi to send text messages and make and receive phone calls. Google Voice and Hangouts will even sync your messages across all your devices and allow you to send text messages and make phone calls right from your computer. All of these features are completely free, so in this video, I'm going to be doing a full review of Google Voice and Hangouts and why I think this is a service worth signing up for. In order to sign up for Google Voice, you need to have a Google account and an existing US phone number. When you first sign up, you can either get a new number for free or port in your current phone number for $20. Porting in your current phone number will terminate your cell phone plan and may result in early termination fees. For this initial setup, I'm going to sign up for a new phone number because you can port in your mobile number at any time from your account settings. The next step is to enter a phone number that will be used as a call forwarding number and to activate your account. You can change your call forwarding settings at any time, so you can get away with entering a friend's number if you don't have your own. For this example, I entered my home phone number. You then click Call Me Now and get an automated call from Google Voice to verify the phone number you just entered. Google Voice calls, you enter the verification code, and then you will be given the option to create a voicemail greeting. I chose not to create a greeting at this time and instead went on to select my Google Voice phone number. After entering your area code or a word, phrase, or number, Google will give you a wide selection of phone numbers to choose from. It's important to choose your number carefully as it costs $10 to change your Google Voice number in the future. Once you have selected a Google Voice number, you can then click continue and then finish. At this point, you have successfully completed the initial setup process and can now send and receive phone calls and text messages from your Google Voice number. The online version of Google Voice has a lot of settings to play around with, such as which phone numbers ring when you get a call, your voicemail and text settings, and your call settings. You can also view all of your voicemails online. However, once you have everything set up on Google Voice, you'll probably spend a majority of your time using the Hangouts application. So now onto the Hangouts side of things. Google Hangouts is a free application available for both iOS and Android. When you first download the application, you will have to sign into your Google account. You will need to make sure Show SMS and Voicemail and Hangouts is turned on, and I suggest you turn on Sync Contacts as well. You may also want to enable incoming phone calls. This will ring the Hangouts application instead of forwarding the call to another phone number. The advantage to this is that you can continue to use the Hangouts application while you're talking on the phone, and this will not count against your cellular minutes. Instead, the phone call will be made over Wi-Fi or your cellular data connection. This is ideal for plans like T-Mobile's $30 a month prepaid plan, where you only have 100 minutes of talk time, but you have 5 gigs of LTE data. It would also be ideal for Ring Plus, as it would allow you to avoid hearing ads during your phone calls. A phone call uses up about one megabyte of data per minute of talk time. If you don't wish to use your cellular data, then there is a setting to only allow phone calls on Wi-Fi. Everything will continue to work normally, but you'll get a pop-up reminding you when you're off Wi-Fi if you're trying to make or answer a phone call. If the call is important, then you have the option to answer the call and use your cellular data. Otherwise, the call will be sent to voicemail, and you'll be able to listen to the voicemail when you're back on Wi-Fi. The downside to having the Hangouts application ring is that you cannot select your ringtone, and the Hangouts ringtone isn't my favorite. Leaving the call forwarding feature on will allow you to select your ringtone, but any incoming call will count against your minutes. The other great part about Hangouts is the ability to send text messages for free over Wi-Fi or cellular data. These are real text messages that can be delivered to anyone's phone number. Group and picture messaging are also supported by Hangouts, and all of your messages will be synced across all your devices. You can send text messages from any device with an internet connection, including your computer, tablet, and smartphone. The Hangouts messaging UI isn't the greatest, but it gets the job done. In my opinion, the messages are too spread out and the font is a little small. You can see a comparison of the same conversation on Hangouts versus the stock messaging app on the iPhone. Personally, I prefer the stock messages application, but I love how Hangouts includes a contact photo in the individual conversation. The stock messages application on the iPhone only includes contact photos for group conversations. Hangouts does support quick reply in iOS 9, but only if message previews are enabled. Turning off message previews allows for more privacy, but it prevents you from using the quick reply feature. The developers at Google have done a great job at adding a slew of features in the Hangouts application. Above the keyboard are four shortcuts for easily sending a photo from your library, 
taking a photo, sending a fun sticker, and even sharing your current location. Sliding from right to left or left to right on the contact conversation thread reveals four options as well. You can favorite, call, or mute that person, or you can even archive the conversation. If you wish to delete a conversation, then you need to tap on the conversation thread, tap on the three vertical dots, tap details, and then tap delete conversation. Something else cool about the Hangouts application are the in-app notifications. Google did a really good job implementing material design notifications for when you receive a phone call or text messages from within the app. You can also continue to message your friends while you're talking on the phone by moving this sort of chat head around the screen. There are two things that annoy me about Google Hangouts. The first is that when you go to create a new message, you will get suggestions of other people on Google+, which is frustrating because most of the time you have no idea who these people are and you'd really rather not even think about communicating with them. The second thing that annoys me is the text tone. Honestly, it doesn't sound too bad at first, but once you start receiving a lot of messages, it gets annoying pretty fast. I personally choose to keep my phone on vibrate to avoid hearing the text tone. At the end of the day, Google Voice and Hangouts is a powerful communication service that allows users to connect with one another for free over Wi-Fi or cellular data. You can keep one phone number regardless of which phone or provider you have, and all of your messages will be seamlessly synced across all your devices. Being able to send texts right from your web browser is also a luxury, and I love how all of your voicemails are automatically transcribed and placed in the conversation thread of the person who called. Google Voice and Hangouts is by no means for everyone, but with such amazing features, I think it is absolutely a service worth considering. All right, that wraps up this video. Be sure to share this video with your friends and family if you found it helpful, and drop a like down below to show your support. Also consider subscribing for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson Doggett, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.